Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Bridget Worry here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Tuesday. Well, I've got to ask you, did you guys take time out to study, 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 study the word? We got to study like we've never studied before. And we know we're running out of time on earth history. And we know that Jesus is a gentleman. And he keeps on knocking on the door of our hearts. And we just need to open the door and let him in. And he said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. And that's John 3, 16. But before we go into our re review and working for the intemperate, let us go ahead and bow for prayer. That kind of gracious and Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for giving us another opportunity to get our lives in order. Father, I ask you that you will decrease me so that you will be increased is my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Okay, so scripture reading is coming from Jude. Jude. 24 and 25 it says now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the present of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and forever amen and amen it's not beautiful that's a beautiful so let us go ahead and go into the topic uh, this has been like um, a little over two weeks on uh, topic here, working for the intemperate. So I've just got 15 points that I'm going to do, 15 points. And if those of you that want to go ahead and look, at, uh, go into more uh, in-depth studies of what I've covered each uh, day, uh, just go scroll down. Hey, Mark, thank you for stopping by, my friend. Thank you for stopping by. I had um, an appointment today. And uh, I forgot to um, change it in my calendar for a later time. Um, and so that's my schedule is really, uh, really crazy right now. And uh, so nevertheless, so we're going to go over a review on working for the intemperate. So it was just going to be a 15 point. If you want more um, deeper study, just scroll down on my Facebook uh, uh, page or you can go over to uh, YouTube and find me there as well and you will find these uh, this particular lessons that we have covered thus far. So he stated, every true reformer has its place in the work of the gospel and tend to the uplifting of the soul to a new and nobler life. Especially does the temperance perform, reform demands the support of Christian workers. They should call attention to this work and make it a life issue. Or we could say making it a living issue. Everywhere they should present to the people the principle of true temperance call for the signers of the temperance pledge. Earnest effort should be made in behalf of those who are in bondage of evil habits. And it goes on, it says, There is everywhere a work to be done for those who through intemperance has fallen in the midst of churches, religious institutions, and professional, professedly Christian homes. Many of youth are choosing the path to destruction. Through intemperance habit, they bring upon themselves disease, and through greed to obtain money for sinful indulgence, they fall into dishonest practices. Health and character are ruined. Aliens from God, outcasts from society, these poor souls feel that they are without hope, either for this life or for the life to come. The hearts of the parents are broken. And if you want further study, just go ahead and scroll down and you can find uh, more in-depth studies. So that would have been, so I just covered point one and point two. Now point three, point three is, often in helping the intemperate, we must, as Christ so often did, give first attention to their physical condition. Okay? They need wholesome, unstimulating food and drink, clean clothing, Opportunity to secure physical cleanliness. They need to be surrounded with an atmosphere of helpful, uplifting Christian influence. So individuals who are prone to falling into deep into temptation, they also need to stay on unstimulating food. We know unstimulating food, if, if our individuals are eating any type of meat, any kind of meat, 
or any dairy product, cheese and all that stuff, it, it weakens your immune system. And besides, if you are prone to um, unhelpful things, we need to just remove those completely out of our diet. Those items should not be in our diet. Or some people might say um, uh, meat eating or some people might say flesh food should not be in your diet if you're having... Um, um, how would you say if you are working uh, with a person that's intemperate that should be the first thing that you need to point out to them that they need to completely eliminating those things out of their diet so that was point three point four is in dealing with the victim of intemperance we must remember that we are not dealing with sane men but with those who for the time being are under the power of a demon be patient and forbearing. Think not of the repulsive, forbidding appearance, but of the precious life that Christ died to redeem. That was point four. Here's point five. They have decided, this is, they have decided, is if we still are working, we are working for the intemperate. This is point five. They have decided to make an effort to live for Christ, but their will power is weakened and they must be carefully guarded by those who watch for souls as they that must give an account. They have lost their manhood and they thus must win back. Many have to battle against strong hereditary tendency to evil, unnatural cravings, uh, sexual impulses were their inheritance from birth. These must be carefully guarded against. So if you want um, deeper study, just go uh, find me on YouTube or scroll down and you will find. And this was uh, day uh, Tuesday, April 9th was that topic that I covered. So here is point six, effort for themselves. This was taken, if you scroll down, this would be uh, April 10th, Wednesday, April 10th. The victim of evil habit must be aroused to the necessity of making an effort for themselves. Others may put forth the most earnest uh, endeavor to uplift them. The grace of God may be freely offered. Christ may intrigue his angels, may minister. But all will be in vain unless they themselves are aroused to fight the battle in their own behalf that was point six and then you can also read um first kings two um chapter two verses two that's point six here's point seven okay so point seven we're talking about the power of the will here the power of the will the tempted one needs to understand that the true force uh, the true force of the will this is the governing power in the nature of man, the power of decision, of choice. Everything depends on the right actions of the will. This, this desires for goodness and purity are right so far as they go. But if they stop here, they avail nothing. Many will go down to ruin while hoping and desire to overcome the evil propensities they do not yield the will to God. They do not choose to serve Him. Okay, so let's go down to point eight. And this is under a knowledge of health principle. So this would be April 12th, Friday, April 12th. And it says, those who are struggling against the power of appetite should be instructed in the principle of helpful living. They should be shown that violation of the laws of health by creating disease condition and unnatural uh, uh, cravings laid the, lays the foundation of a liquor habit. So here is point nine, and this is under Monday, April 15th, and this employment self-support. Those who are endeavoring to reform should be provided with employment. None who are able to labor should be taught to expect food and clothing and shelter for free. Okay, so I go to scroll down. I did that. I did an in-depth study in that. So here is point 10. Disappointment and danger. 
So this is still under um, the willpower, but these are different little subtitles. Uh, so this is point 10. Those who work for the fallen will be disappointed in many who give promise of reform. Many will make but a superficial change in their habits and practices. They are moved by impulse and for a time may seem to have reform, but there is no real change of the heart. They cherish the same self-love, have the same hungering for foolish pleasures, the same desire for self-indulgence. Okay? So here is Wednesday, April 17, and the rescue to help others. All who give evidence of true conversion should be encouraged to work for others. Let none turn away a soul who leaves the service of Satan for the service of Christ. When one gives evidence that the Spirit of God is, is, is stirring with him, Present every encouragement for entering the Lord's service. And you can also study on Jude 22 on this topic as well. And so here is my point number. That was point 11. That was point 11. Here's point 12. And this is under uh, April, uh, April 18th. Thursday, April 18th. Christ, the hope of the tempted. For every soul struggling to rise from a life of sin to a life of purity, the great elements of power abides in the only name under heaven given amongst men whereby we must be saved. And you can find this in Acts 4, 12, John 7, 17. Here is point 12. Uh, this is still a part of... Uh, point 12 the true reformation begins with soul cleansing true reformation begin with soul cleansing okay so here's point 13 and we're still talking about Christ the hope of the tempted and it says in our work for the fallen the claims of the law of God and the need of loyalty to him are to be impressed on minds and heart never fail to show that there is a marked difference between the one who serve God and the one who serve him not. Okay? So, and then it goes on. It said, nothing less than perfect obedience can meet the standards of God's requirement. What did I say? Nothing less than perfect obedience can meet the standards of God's requirement. Here is point 14, and this uh, it was part two of Christ the Hope of the Tempted. And this was um, Friday, April 19th. This is point 15. Let's see. Okay, so, okay, point 14, I'm sorry, point 14. The Savior took upon himself the infirmities of humanity and lived a sinless life that man might have a I fear that because of the weakness of human nature they could not overcome Christ came to make us partakers of the divine nature and his life declared that humanity combined with divinity does not commit sin okay let me repeat that Christ came to make us partakers of the divine nature and his life declared that humanity combined with divinity does not commit sin. That's point. Here's point 15. The Savior overcame to show men how we or how he may overcome. Let me repeat that. The Savior be overcame to show men how he may overcome all the temptation of Satan. Christ met with the word of God by trusting in God's promises he received power to obey God's commandment, and the temper could gain no advantage. You can also look at 2 Peter 1.14, and also Psalms 119.11, and Psalm 17.4. Psalm 17.4. So that was point 15, because I said I had 15 points, right? So that was the last point. But here's the conclusion. And this is under 
uh, Monday, um, that was yesterday, uh, precious promises. So um, let me read one. It said, these precious words, every soul that abided in Christ may make his own. He may say, I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the God of my sal salvation. My God will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. And this is Micah 7, uh, 7, um, 7 and 8, verses 7 and 8. So Micah chapter 7, verses 7 and 8. So that concludes our whole topic on, what was my topic? On working for the intemperate. But here is um, my hymn. My, my hymn, you know, God was got to have a hymn. It said, Forgive our sin as we forgive. Forgive our sin as we forgive. You taught us, Lord, to pray, but you alone can grant us grace to live the words we say. How can you pardon, reach, and bless the unforgiven heart that brought and that, so we could say, that, that grieves or wronging and will not let all bitterness depart in the blazing light your cross reveals the truth we dimly knew how trifling others debt or how trifling others debt to us how great our debt to you Lord cleanse the depth within our souls and bid resentment cease then by your mercy reconcile our life will spread your peace then is here then by your mercy reconcile our lives will spread your peace so as we continue to spread the love and the peace of jesus my sister and brother we ourselves need to be doers of god's word because we are ambassadors for christ and as ambassadors for christ there's a different requirement for us our standards is different than the world standards the world standards is all the way down at the bottom god's standards is very high and only way we can obtain that a standard is by abiding in christ by be connecting with god and allow god the power of god allow the power of god to do his will in our lives let us bow for prayer the kind of gracious and the father i thank you for this topic today father Forgive our sins, Father, as we forgive. Father, be with each one of us, Father. We ask you now that you would cleanse us from all our unrighteousness, whatever we have stayed or whatever we have thought, Father. We ask you to just forgive us and cleanse us, Father. Be with my sister, my brothers, Father. Whatever is going through or whatever they're going through at this moment, Father, we just ask you to be with them. Continue to bless us, Father, and give us the power to run away from sin. We thank you for this beautiful day, Father. Be with us as we continue to serve thee. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen. Okay, my brothers, my sisters. So uh, tomorrow, <clears throat> I'm not sure what topic we'll cover, but it shall be still something within the ministry of healing. And for those of you who have not gotten your hands on this book, The Great Controversy, I've got couples. So you could just, you know, uh, shoot me a, a message at the bottom if you, if you would like a copy. Uh, just let me know and then I can also uh, if and then here's another thing so it's, it's a is a is a is a um, I would say right this has like over 500 pages in there so most of the time people say I'm so busy I'm so busy I'm so busy but however if you call me or text me or whatever there's another version that you can get that can that you can listen to that he actually read it to you so if you want that just shoot me a message at the bottom and I'll be more than happy to give you that information until then my sister my brother be blessed and we shall talk soon. Take care.